Hey superheroes, it's Cody here and I am going to be doing a video on a few things, most of them relating to Jamie Margolin and the organization This Is Zero Hour. Now, specifically because I am traveling, I am going to be talking to you about their upcoming climate summit that is in Florida. Now, the purpose of the climate summit is an emergency climate crisis intervention that is run by youth, but welcome to everybody. Because everybody is needed in the climate movement. And I don't remember exactly the dates or the amounts, but I will insert them right here. Hey, this is directly from thisiszerohour.org slash Miami slash. A year after the historic youth climate march, the youth strike again. Join Zero Hour in This Is Zero Hour, the Youth Climate Summit in Miami, a frontline community. The summit will be held from July 12th to 14th at Double Tree by Hilton Hotel Miami Airport and Convention Center, 711NW 72nd Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33126. This stuff is just interesting about why Miami is the place. The team chose to host the summit in Miami because of the huge disasters Miami is already facing and will continue to face with worsening climate change. With two degrees Celsius of warming, the entire city will be underwater. Also, as the ocean tide gets warmer, it is causing toxic red tide algae blooms, which can irritate respiratory illness and cause other negative health issues in humans. For the registration, you need to fill out first name, last name, pronouns, email, um, regular info. Regarding donations, we want to give all youth the opportunity to attend so you can pay whatever you can. However, the real cost of hosting our event is around 70 to 100 per person. Please keep that in mind and be honest in your needs and abilities. So I hope that if you are seeing this and you are able and willing to go to the summit, please go. That's, it's going to be a super cool event. Back to you, past Cody. The purpose of the climate summit is to come together and talk about solutions of the climate crisis and how we need to buckle down and move forward in a time of crisis, mainly focusing on solutions and what we can do instead of shaming each other and instead working to be better. Uh, that's something that Jamie Margolin has been talking about a lot recently that has really resonated with me about personal eco sins, like not recycling or using a plastic straw. And I think if you have the ability to not use a plastic straw or to recycle or to go vegan, that is awesome. And I encourage you to do that, but those individual actions will not save the world. And shaming each other for doing or not doing them is really counterproductive. Do you like my shirt? It says no fossil fuel money on it. It's from Sunrise and it's my favorite shirt and I love it. So yeah, this organization, This Is Zero Hour, was founded um, by a few people. The main person being Jamie Margolin, who founded it when she was 15. She is now 17, and she's kind of the coolest, and I love her. Not only is she a climate leader, she founded an organization at 15 that was run by youth, primarily young women of color, to educate people and to stop the climate crisis, which is absolutely radical and they have just been rising they just announced recently their new campaign called getting to the roots 
where they are going to be talking to young people about what the roots of climate change are and how they can work to dismantle them. The roots of climate change are the patriarchy, colonialism, and white supremacy. And I think I'm gonna do a separate video talking about that campaign because it's so very cool. One of the important things to remember about traveling while being environmentally conscious is the fact that individual actions will not stop the climate crisis. Some people have to travel, whether their family is sick or they have to travel for work. We cannot shame people who cannot travel. If you have the ability to use public transportation wherever you go or you have the money to buy an electric car or the ability to ride a bike everywhere you go, that's rad, do that. But also remember that not everybody can. I saw this recently, uh, Don Cheadle and Mark Ruffalo, they are a part of something called the Solutions Project and they donated $5,000 to get frontline youth to the climate summit, which is absolutely rad. I love movie superheroes being absolute real life superheroes. It makes me so extraordinarily happy and if I got to meet Don Cheadle or Mark Ruffalo or Robert Downey Jr., I would cry. Anywho, you should definitely direct your resources towards Zero Hour if you have the opportunity. And if you so choose and are able, head down to Miami, Florida for the Youth Climate Summit and Intervention the speaker that I remember is the that I remember hearing about is Mari Copaney, who is Little Miss Flint, who wrote a letter to Obama asking her to focus on Flint, and is now doing her focus of resources as working towards racial and gender justice, as well as getting clean water to the people of Flint through water drives. She's an absolute hero and I admire her in every way. I would go down just to see her if I could, but I will be gone in DC for the thing I am packing for. And next video is going to be coming out on Wednesday and I'm going to be talking about what exactly it is that I am packing for and my hopes and fears and desires for that one. So until then, it's been a pleasure. I will put all of the This Is Zero Hour info in the description as well as Jamie and the This Is Your Hour Squad social media. And until next time, stay safe, stay snazzy, do what you can. Peace out.